thanks for tuning in for another dose of bite-sized bits of knowledge where we give you meaningful information in a short amount of time. Today we're talking about trusts and how they or may not provide asset protection. I have touched on it in other videos, but it is too important to not focus on exclusively in one dedicated video. So let's talk about it. Do trusts provide asset protection? It's the million dollar question. The answer is maybe, and I'm not just trying to be cute. The answer is maybe. Revocable trusts, trusts that you can revoke, amend, or terminate in Florida, Florida, provide no asset protection benefits while you're alive. That's not to say that they can't own assets that will provide benefit, like an annuity or other assets. But they themselves, by virtue of them being trust, provide no asset protection. Zero, donut, none. It's, it's not even subject to dispute I don't want to talk about it anymore. Where they do provide asset protection, where revocable trusts provide asset protection, is after your estate is settled, your creditors are resolved one way or another, you know, by settling them, getting them stricken or whatever, they're settled. At that time, then whoever inherits your, your, your assets in trust, provided they remain in trust, will have an asset protection benefit. So it's your beneficiaries who have the asset protection benefit of a rev trust, not you, not you. And again, it's only after the, you know, your estate is settled that they get that benefit. And it's only, after, it's only if the assets stay in trust. If for some reason your trust says, pay everybody one third, one third, one third, and terminate, there's no more asset protection. It's not in trust anymore. So that's a, that's a common approach that I don't personally philosophically agree with. And I will fight with you on that. And I'll make you sign something right and I told you because I want, I want to make sure you know that I, I think that. So Rev Trust, I think you're, you're, you're good now. Irrevocable trusts. Irrevocable trusts, like the name suggests, are, are, are more difficult to change. They, they can be changed and they can be structured you know, flexibly. Uh, and we do that, of course, but most of the time when we are presented with a problem with a revocable trust, it wasn't something we drafted, so our, our hands are kind of tied. A irrevocable trust can provide asset protection. Yes, they can, but there's rules. You can't just make a, what's called a self-settled asset protection trust. You can't do it. You're not allowed to do it in Florida. Other states, however, do allow that. Other states allow you to make a trust over here, put all your stuff in it, and then it's somehow it's protected from your creditors. It's, it's remarkable. Florida's not one of those states. You can, you can always go to one of those states. You can always do one of those trusts, but there's risks. I did a whole presentation on those risks, you know, and I don't want to get into that right now, but it's an option. There's better options. We do better options that have less risk. Irrevocable trusts can provide asset protection. It's not the go-to vehicle for protecting your assets. There are better ways. We do those ways. Talk to us about it. Don't need jerk into things that you find online. Talk to the people who do it every day. We're happy to help you. I hope this clarifies this issue for you. Thank you for stopping by and stay tuned for more. Hey Mo. Hey Mo.